You might not want to live in Vermont. Stick around to find out why. What's up everybody, this is Jacob Barnes with eXp Realty in Vermont. If you are new to this channel and you want to learn everything about what it's like to live right here in Vermont, make sure you tap the subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified every time I do a new video. Also, I'm working with buyers and sellers all over Vermont, so if you're looking to move anywhere in Vermont, make sure to give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email, I'd love to work with you. Okay, let's get into it. Number one, snow. Vermont gets the number one average highest annual snowfall amount of all the US with an average of 89 inches each year. Honestly, living in Vermont my whole life, I was surprised to see the statistics because I assumed Alaska or some other state would have the highest snowfall, but I was wrong. What this means for people living here is that all of us with private driveways have to plow them or pay someone to do so. We also need to switch to snow tires each year so we don't slide right off the road. Vermont gets snow around six months out of the year, so that's definitely something to think about. Although the snow can be extremely beautiful and your kids may have lots of fun with it, if you are moving to Vermont, the effects of snow on your daily life and the increased rust of vehicles is something to think about. Number two, taxes. Although Vermont's overall tax burden is about 2% lower than New York's, Vermont's taxes are consistently ranked in the top five highest overall tax rates for the country. High individual student funding, healthcare, welfare, and an above average amount of government employees makes up a lot of that. So if you're looking for a low tax state, Vermont probably isn't for you. Number three, population. Although living in the second least populated state might be appealing to some, it might scare away a lot of people. Even Alaska has a higher population. Vermont is very rural and our biggest city, Burlington, has a population of around 43,000. One thing to note is that this is probably why our crime rates are so low. Many people love the Vermont life, but if you are more of a big city person, Vermont is definitely not for you. Number four, cost of living. Overall, the cost of living in Vermont is about 15% higher than the national average. As mentioned before, a lot of this is due to taxes, but our utilities and groceries also cost more than the national average. To be fair though, the cost of living in New York is 53% above the national average and in Hawaii, 96% above. So 15% might not be as bad as it sounds, but if you're struggling to pay the bills in a state with below average cost of living, Vermont probably isn't for you. On the other hand, if you live in California, New York, or Hawaii, you'll probably save money living in Vermont. Number five, nothing goes on in Vermont. If you love big loud concerts, casinos, nightclubs, or large events, Vermont is not the place to find that. Although if you do like to enjoy big events and excitement from time to time, Boston, New York City, and even Montreal are all within a few hours of driving. Vermont, on the other hand, has more country-like events, such as demo derbies, tractor pulls, horse and cow showings, and other things you might expect from Vermont fairs. Number six, diversity. While Vermont is a very progressive state with diverse ideas, we remain one of the least culturally and ethnically diverse states in the country. In fact, Vermont is 92% white, if I had to guess, this is likely because not a whole ton of people move to Vermont, and also not very many people move out of Vermont. I think Vermont is a very welcoming state, I'm certainly not trying to scare anyone away, but if the thought of being in an almost all-white state scares you, Vermont probably isn't the state to move to. Lastly, number seven. If you move to Vermont, you might never leave. Vermont attracts a few certain kinds of people, but the people who it attracts almost always fall in love with it and find it a great place to raise their children. I've door knocked a lot of houses looking for people who want to sell their homes, and they almost always tell me how much they love the area and how they've been living here for a long time. Often families have roots in Vermont that go back generations. While settling down and living somewhere for the rest of your life might be appealing to some, if that doesn't appeal to you, Vermont might not fit you. Those are the 7 reasons Vermont might not be for you, but also check out my video on the 13 reasons why Vermont might be perfect for you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. I get back to all questions. This is Jacob Barnes with eXp Realty and I'll see you next time.